Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensh Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12, kasamang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, bida ang agham. The heart and lungs are important organs of our body. However, we sometimes forget to take care of our body and we eat substances that may harm or cause complications in our heart and lungs. That's why in this Shensh Amazing episode, we are going to discuss the most common diseases in the respiratory system. In this video, pag-uusapan natin ang mga diseases in the respiratory system such as asthma, pneumonia, influenza, bronchitis, tuberculosis, emphysema, and lung cancer. In our discussion about these diseases, we will encounter the word inflammation a lot of times. Ano ang ibig sabihin ng inflammation? An inflammation is a response triggered by damage to living tissues. These tissues may be caused by bacteria, viruses, other microorganisms, or other external factors in our environment. For example, when a harmful thing enters the body or when something pricks our skin, a response may be triggered that will cause the following symptoms, pain, swelling, warmth, and redness. These symptoms are all attributed to inflammation. Asthma, one of the most common diseases in the respiratory system. Its symptoms include coughing, wheezing, breathlessness, and tightness of chest. It may be caused by allergies such as pollen, smoke, dust, or it may be caused by stress and anxiety. Asthma is a chronic ailment caused by the inflammation of the airways, bronchi, or bronchioles. Bakit nagkakaroon ng inflammation? This is due to the allergic reactions, stress, or anxiety during an asthma attack. This is a normal person's airway. This is an asthmatic airway. And when allergens come in contact with inflamed airways, they tighten and become narrow, making it difficult for one to breathe. Why is it hard to breathe? Because the air is trapped in the alveoli. To treat asthma, doctors recommend using inhalers. These devices contain gas that can relieve and prevent the symptoms of asthma. Many inhalers contain steroids like prednisone to treat inflammation and others have a type of drug called a bronchodilator to open up your airways. Another disease in the respiratory system is pneumonia. Pneumonia is a swelling of tissues in one or both of the lungs. It is usually caused by a bacterium but may also develop due to complications caused by viral infections like chickenpox and measles. Ano ang symptoms ng pneumonia? Symptoms are cough with yellow, green, or bloody sputum, fever and chills, chest pain, and rapid breathing. The infection causes the lungs, air sacs, or alveoli to become inflamed and fill up with fluid or pus. That can make it hard for the oxygen you breathe in to get into your bloodstream. Influenza, also known as flu, is highly contagious. Its symptoms are more severe than common cold because it can lead to serious complications which is especially dangerous to infants, older adults, and people with chronic diseases. Ano-ano ang mga sintomas ng influenza? 
Symptoms are fever, body ache, chills, headache, muscle pain, fatigue, and runny nose. If you are not sure if you have influenza or a common cold, it is best to get yourself tested in the hospital. The next disease we're going to discuss is bronchitis. Bronchitis is an inflammation of the lining of the bronchi. Ano ang bronchi? If you can remember, bronchi are the main passageway into our lungs. Signs of bronchitis are cough, production of clear white, yellowish, or green sputum, fatigue, and fever. In the picture, we can see a normal person's bronchi and then a person suffering from bronchitis. Another respiratory disease is tuberculosis. It is caused by a bacterium known as Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is a serious infectious disease which can spread from person to person through coughs and sneezes. Some symptoms are coughing up blood, fatigue, fever, weight loss, and loss of appetite. If not treated properly, nakamamatay ang tuberculosis. Another respiratory disease is emphysema. Emphysema is a disease that occurs when the alveoli in our lungs are destroyed. It turns the alveoli into large, irregular pockets with holes in the inner walls. Ano mangyayari kung maiba ang structure ng alveoli? This reduces the surface area of the lungs, making you short of breath. Hence, the main symptom of emphysema is shortness of breath. Usually, the cause is exposure to irritants like cigarette smoking and air pollution. In this animation, we can see that damaged air sacs due to emphysema causes air to be trapped in the lungs. This damage leads to the formation of large air pockets in the lungs. The last disease we're going to discuss is lung cancer. It is a cancer that develops in the lungs. It is one of the leading causes of cancer deaths. Sino ang mga at risk for lung cancer? These are people who smoke or who are exposed to secondhand smoking. Symptoms of lung cancer involve nagging cough, sometimes with blood, shortness of breath, chest pain, hoarseness, and weight loss. In this picture, you can see a cancerous tumor. Let's have another trivia! What is secondhand smoking? Secondhand smoking or passive smoking occurs when non-smokers inhale the smoke or fume that are emitted by active smokers when they use cigarettes, pipes, cigars, and other tobacco products. For example, this person is an active smoker. Even though the people around him or her does not smoke, they are still affected by what is called secondhand smoke. And these people are at risk to many respiratory diseases due to secondhand smoking or passive smoking. While smoking is a hobby for many people, it is still best that we keep our respiratory system healthy. In order to prevent being passive smokers or secondhand smokers, we can avoid smoking areas for our own safety. Before we have a short quiz, let's have a quick recap of what we have discussed in this Shansh Amazing episode. Today, we discussed about the diseases of the respiratory system. We were introduced to the term inflammation, a common term that we can see in many diseases. Moreover, we talked about the common diseases such as asthma, pneumonia, influenza, bronchitis, tuberculosis, emphysema, and lung cancer. Lastly, we learned about secondhand smoking and its negative effect to our body. It's good time! To check how much you have learned this Shansh Amazing episode, we are going to have a short 3-minute quiz. After 3 minutes, ito check natin kung tama mga sagot nyo. Are you ready? Let's start!
time's up, let's check if your answers are correct. Starting with number 1, an inflammation of the lining of the bronchi. If you answer bronchitis, you are correct. This is an easy item. Now let's proceed to number 2. Swelling of the tissues in the lungs, usually caused by bacteria. In our choices, dalawa lang ang caused by bacteria, tuberculosis and pneumonia. Tuberculosis is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, while pneumonia is caused by streptococcus pneumoniae. Between these two, one that causes the swelling of the tissues in the lungs is pneumonia. Number 3. It refers to your body's process of fighting against things that harm it, such as infections, injuries, and toxins, in an attempt to heal itself. In other words, it is the body's natural response to some triggers which may cause harm or damage in our body. The correct answer is inflammation. Number 4. It occurs when the alveoli are damaged. And when the alveoli are damaged, air pockets may be formed in our lungs, which causes shortness of breath. What do you think is the answer? The answer is emphysema. Last number, number 5, a chronic ailment caused by the inflammation of the airways, bronchi or bronchioles. From the choices, Let's eliminate cancer since this is caused by cancer cells. Let's also eliminate influenza which is caused by the influenza virus. And we are left with asthma or tuberculosis. We will only answer tuberculosis if the cause is written. The cause of tuberculosis is a bacteria called mycobacterium tuberculosis. But that is not in the question. Hence, our answer is asthma, the inflammation of the airway. That ends our quiz. How was your score over 5? Please comment it down in the comment section below. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!